What's up, y'all? I got a banger from the Modern King. Let's get straight into it. Oh, yeah, you're really about to pay today because, you know, Medicaid has to be reimbursed to the state, right? Not it. Well, you just found out something today. I'm so today. glad that you are ready to learn something <laughs> because you are about to learn today, okay? Child support is $1,096, plus we need to reimburse that Medicaid, like I told you. So we take that 5,400, do 9% of that. That comes out to $486. Ooh. $486 Ooh. plus the 1,096. That bring your child support obligation to $1,582 per month. I'm sorry, you said what? $1,582. Dollars. Anything else? <laughs> For two kids? <laughs> this video for two kids? Yes. Fifteen hundred for two kids. Let me know in the comments. Do you think fifteen hundred for two kids is enough? I don't think that's enough. A month? That's like what? Seven fifty? Yeah, somewhere around there. Seven fifty for two kids? Boy, I'd be spending two hundred dollars a week on groceries. This man, this woman is wild. She out of her mind viral right now of this woman who said she did not want to be a responsible parent so she gave up her kids and now she's having to pay her old husband yeah, child support it. okay so in november i decided i no longer wanted to be a responsible parent and i gave up my kids i was just tired of being responsible and caring for them i felt like i was too young and i wanted to go out there and experience life and i started aka getting... she wanted to get ran shots fired shots fired i've seen this video a few times someone else so it just didn't fit with my new lifestyle and I didn't have anything I'll show you something that does fit. Shots fired! Shots fired! <laughs> All right, let me stop. Let me stop. <laughs> ...to worry about because the other parent is a very responsible parent. But now I'm here because now I'm on child support. And to top it off, I'm really pissed off that I took care of them all the way up to November. And I couldn't claim them on my taxes because the other parent had already claimed them. Well, wait, can... wait. Why would you get to claim them on your taxes when you're not the one paying for the kids? You don't even have custody. You gave up your rights. What are you even talking about? is what has this world come to man this woman imagine well here's the thing dude here's my thing what imagine if there was a man on here talking about i gave up the rights to my kids i didn't even want them little snot nosed brats no ways everybody be calling him a deadbeat dad we got to come up with a term for deadbeat moms what let me know in the comments what should we start calling them because if there's a deadbeat dad there's got to be a deadbeat mom in my opinion she's a deadbeat she had these kids doesn't even want to take care of them like, come on. Why even bring kids into this world if you don't even want to love and care for them? Like, come on, dude. It's unreal to me. I'm glad to see women getting the equality they asked for. For real. You wanted to give up your kids just to live a club lifestyle. Now you have to pay child support. Facts. Is the only time having a boyfriend is worth it is when is when he is able to fully support you and pay all your bills. I said it. I said it. Yeah, you said it. But wouldn't it just be so much easier to admit that one is broke and can't actually handle being an adult and paying one's own bills? Not your husband. Okay, Lady J. Lady J coming out hot. I like that. If you're going to be a girlfriend to someone, he needs to be paying all, all, all your bills. Otherwise, why is he there? What is his purpose? Well, I could think of several wow. reasons, actually, but what do I know? If he's not, he's just a boyfriend. Meaning if he leaves you and... A boyfriend is not a legal title. Congratulations for figuring that well, part. I don't know about y'all, but her teeth look like a cheese grater. Shots fired! Shots fired! Let me grate you some of the finest Parmesan. I heard Olive Garden is hiring. Start <laughs> out. If he leaves you and promises you marriage, leaves you with nothing, you get nothing. At least they understand the basics. But if he's paying all your bills, you're able to save money, you're able to invest into businesses that you want I'm wanted. sorry, paying all your bills? I ain't paying your bills unless you a wife. I'm going to keep it a buck. I ain't about to pay for no girlfriend's bills. Are you out of your freaking mind? What do you think I'm stupid? I'm not doing all that. That's a dumb man's game right there. If he leaves you, you're leaving with something else at the end of it. Another example of a strong, independent woman who can stand on their this own. This is why I say money hungry hip hoes, dude. Two feet. Not at all a gold digger. But to date a guy and be someone's girlfriend for free. For free? Is it just me or is some women completely lost when it comes to actually understanding what the concept of dating is? Facts. Being someone's girlfriend is not worth it, okay? No, 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 no. If you're going to be a girlfriend, he needs to be paying a bill or two. These bills are due. You, I'm not usually anyone's girl girlfriends, but I'll make that exception for you if you're willing to pay some bills. If you're willing to pay a bill or two. I can just imagine all the men wow. running to that woman's profile to take advantage of that situation. Right. 
if her advice right? was yeah i just like <laughs> Let me know in the comments, man. Would you pay for all your girlfriend's bills? I'm going to keep it a buck, man. I don't think you should pay for your girlfriend's bills. I think y'all should be 50-50 until she's wifey status, and she got to earn that. You got to date minimum of five years. You got to vet hellaciously. Ain't no way, shape, or form I'm about to be paying a girlfriend all her bills. Man, come on. Miss me with that. You expect to get child support? Yes, ma'am. And the child has been living with him for almost... It's a boy or a girl? Boy. His whole life? Yes, ma'am. Well, when I get my baby back, I want child support, yeah. When I get my baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back, ribs. Chili's baby back ribs. Come on. Fat bastard looking ass. Come on. He makes way more money than I do. I want my baby back and I want child support. I want baby backs. I'm sorry. You have to excuse me because nothing you're saying is making sense right now. You came to court to ask me to give a child back to you that was taken from you that's five years old that's pretty much lived with this man the entire time that he has been they took taken care of they took taken care of they took my baby away because my ex-boyfriend is an abuser and i'm not with him anymore so Stupid. i want my baby back Stupid. right but the child hasn't been living with you the child has been living with him yeah because of my ex and i'm not with my ex anymore yeah so no it doesn't work like that it doesn't work like that he would literally have to have given you the child back and then you come in here and you, after you've been having the child for some time then you come in here and say judge i want this to be changed i've been having the child this entire time i want him to pay child support that would be a little bit more reasonable but what you're asking for today is very unreasonable okay well give me my baby back and then i'll come back in a while and ask she needs to go to chili's to get her baby back Shots fired. Shots fired. <laughs> honey you're not getting and, and this is what this was what's so funny to me she's like i want child support well I, I guess in that regard she is acting like a child so yeah i guess we can give her child support child support well i can't give you your baby back because i never took your baby Okay. Actually, nobody really took your baby. You lost your baby for for your own negligence with your ex-boyfriend. That has nothing to do with me. Preach. Okay. Now. In a reverse card me in over here. <laughs> the baby was placed with you after the boyfriend hit the baby. Yep. And he's been living with you ever since then. Yep. You've been taking care of him. Mm-hmm. You paid for everything for the child. Everything. What does she do? Uh. I visit. She, she visits unsupervised. Okay. Wow. Congratulations. Financially, what does she do? Uh, oh, financially? Yeah. Hmm. No. Oh, that's what I figured. Okay. Love I the dude's attitude. <laughs> yeah. But well, she I'm does not... unsupervised visits? Wow. <laughs> You're such a good mom. Wow. Or as uh, I guess the modern women like to call it, um, caregiver. I'm not about to play this game with you. You're the one that's going to pay him child support What? Today. Yeah, you are. He makes like three times as much money as I do. I have to give him my money? Hey, if you're broke, just say that. Brokey? Um, it's for the child, so yes, you do. When your baby... Uh, here we go. When your baby daddy appeals his increase in child support and you start to feel bad about it, like maybe he can't afford it. But then he buys a new car, so now you don't have to feel guilty anymore. Goodness gracious, boy. For some reason, they think child support is a way to get back at their ex-spouses. And, well, try true. To and a lot of these women think child support is a one-way street. Here's the dealio, though. It's all about who has the child, right? If the dad has custody, I think the woman should be paying child support. I don't care how much you make. I want 20% of that income because if he's incurring all of the responsibility of raising the child... I think that you should have to have a little bit of your financial income taken from you. Let me know in the comments. What do you think? Do you think the primary custody, like who, because the thing is, it's already rigged, right? Usually in the state of Texas, at least this is in the state of Texas, but usually the woman gets the kid. You, as a man, you have to fight to get custody of your kid. So in that instance with that chick, she had to have her child basically be hit by her ex-boyfriend to get her child taken away. Like, you have to go through for, to some extreme measures to lose custody of your child as a woman. But I think if a guy is taking care of the kid, then yeah, women should have to pay. What do you think? I think whoever's the primary custodian or uh, custodian, I think the, the primary caregiver is these modern women or the primary parent <laughs> of the child. They should get some compensation from the other parent. I think that's totally fair. Most of the time, y'all y'all don't y'all don't have any qualms with it when the guy has to pay, but when y'all have to pay, you don't want the equality. Make that make sense, bro. Support. 
So as a baby mama, I'm here to say... Bro, that, that is just the... <laughs> <laughs> so as a baby mama... <laughs> now you're a single mom. Now you're a single oh, mom. Oh, oh my God, I'm having too much fun today. I'm having too much fun. Child support is only for absent fathers. Not because you guys broke up. He's a complete Debbie. Yeah, go for it. If you know that he takes care of his kid, gets them when he's supposed to, you're just a bit. I'm here to say one more thing. I just had to drag my AC out of my car to my apartment building. Three guys passed me. None of them offered to help. None. None. Zero out of three. Or to put it in another. Good for those guys, man. Don't help her. She, they want equality. Let them have it way they did exactly what women have been asking men to do for years now Leave them they alone. ignored you they stayed away they didn't give you any attention they know as you all been saying you're strong and independent and you don't need no man Facts. you ladies keep saying we aren't listening that we're not hearing you but yet here's the very proof that we indeed are and now you have a problem with it. And as inevitably happens when men do exactly what women want, they turn it around and weaponize it against them by saying things like, Why? Because you couldn't lift it? You were too scared to lift it? Is that why? <laughs> no, darling. The shame. It's always the shame, insult, guilt. I love it. That's not why. Am it's I a sign. I got that from Kevin Samuels. Shame, insult, guilt, and the need to be right. This is what these modern women do. They act like children, so they try to you know, move the goalpost, pull the Uno reverse card, and shame, insult, guilt, and the need to be right. Like, what, well, you couldn't lift it? You just couldn't do it? You just didn't need it? Like, well, clearly you couldn't do it. Clearly you're a brokey. Clearly you're incompetent. So let the one who knows the most, I guess, throw the stones, but right now you don't know nothing either, so we're in the same boat, I guess. Nope, not in the least. Am I more masculine than you? No, you're not, but clearly you're trying to be. Why, I don't know, because it's not going to benefit you. But again, it goes back to what I said at the beginning of this video. We're trying to help women understand how men see and think, how they are responding to what women are doing. Now, I already know most of the women who started out watching this video have already scrolled past it. Because they don't want to hear this reality, especially the one I'm about to lay on them. Which is this. Be careful what you wish for, ladies. You've all demanded we leave you alone. As I said earlier, you're out flexing how strong and independent you are and that you don't need no man. And we heard you, which is why these men walked right on by and didn't offer to help. And well, that was true. And what's so messed up about it, man, is when a man goes out there and conquers the world, gets a bunch of resources, start making more, and he starts making more money, he advances in his career, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. he goes, great, now I can support a family. Now I can have a wife. Now I can have kids, the big house, the picket fence, the nice car. I can do all of that, great. When a woman gets money, she's like, I don't need no man. I'm independent. I-N-D-E-P-E-N-D. -E -E That's what they do. They're like, great, I don't need a man. But you got to think about it. Like At the core of it all, the psychology behind it is you're independent, but you're independent from what? You're independent from a man. You're not dependent on a man. So what that says when they say independent they're basically admitting that they know that they should be dependent upon a man. I'm just saying, don't shoot the messenger here. I, I don't make the rules. I just enforce them. But no man's ever like, I'm independent. No, it's a given. We don't ever have to rep being independent. It's kind of like what we do, right? <laughs> like I've always said, man, women wait at the finish line and pick the winners. Most of the time, they don't want to, to go through the trials and tribulations with the peasant and become a king and queen. They want to pick the king, and then they're like, well, I want him all to myself. Well, it doesn't happen like that, honey. Also, the smartest thing they could have done, because the likelihood is she's likely not going to show them any appreciation for offering to help. In fact, she'd probably attack them, much like she chose to attack them in this video because that's what today's modern women do to men men are damned if they do and damned if they don't facts either way men know they're going to be attacked there's no winning and to quote a line from one of my favorite movies the only winning move is not to play. which is exactly what those men did so to the very very few ladies that are still listening and not off seething about what I've already said. Here's the lesson to be learned. If you play stupid games, you're going to win stupid prizes. Thanks. Telling men to go away and leave you alone 
and then getting mad when they do exactly what you're asking them to do is the literal definition of playing stupid games. And it's why you're now reaping the benefits of winning stupid prizes. I love this guy. He's great. I don't know who that. Anybody, let me know in the comments. Who is he? I like him. It's like his shirt says men need to be heard. I completely agree with that. I completely. And I feel like a lot of the things that men are holding as far as a standard when it comes to vetting women and the things that they want, we're just... We're demonized for it, right? Women can have preferences. Women could say, I want him tall. I want him rich. I want six foot, six, six inches, six pack, six figures. And I want other women to want him. But then as soon as we're like, hey, don't be overweight. They're like, oh my God. Shots fired. Shots fired. Well, you can't say that. Well, I can't control how tall I am, but you sure can't control what you put in your mouth. Stupid. If you know what I mean. <laughs> If you know what I mean. Um, it's just so funny to me. Because as men, we have to go out there and earn our value. And women are given their value. That's why as we get older, men, we don't feel bad for these women when they're out there like, Where are all the good men at? Where are all the men? Once you hit 35, the wall's bad. And then you become a... that video we watched the other day where she said she was alphabet dating which what i thought was that she was going through the alphabet and bucking dudes with different letters of their name clearly i was off i think it's like the alphabet game is like when you go through and do certain dates like a a is you know go bobbing for apples b is go bobbing for apple i don't <laughs> i don't know i don't know it's hypothetical here but like at the least you're talking about going on 26 dates oh my gosh how many of these men are you gonna buck Goodness gracious. It's like, I thought your dad uh, was the CEO of Nathan's Hot Dogs. How many <laughs> wieners you're going through? <laughs> but this is why men don't feel bad for, for these women once they get a little bit older and then they hit the wall and we're like, eh. because as men from the ages of like, when we start dating, I'd probably say maybe 15, 16, at least I had a girlfriend at that age, from the ages to like maybe even 26, 27, Unless you've got it made as far as genetically, like we're pretty invisible to women because we don't have a lot of money. We don't have a lot of resources. It takes us a lot of time to gain our value. But whereas women from the age of 18 to 24, that's when they're the most valuable. So they're getting flown out to Dubai. They can put a link in the bio. Dudes are DMing them that have check marks in their IG. Like, like I, I've, I've said this before, but I'll say it again. Um, women, like average women have the same pull as celebrity men because Women will get DM'd from like rappers and athletes when they don't have a lot of followers. Like Cass has gotten DM'd by like popular country artists that are huge now. I don't remember his name, um, but he was like playing at freaking Choctaw Durant. Like he, this dude is a big dude. He, 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 I don't know if he's actually big. All right, this is getting this is getting weird. But you, you, you smell what I'm stepping in. Like he's a popular artist, right? DM'd her and she ain't even got a lot of followers. That's why I was like, all right, baby girl, we got to put that stuff on private. And like, put that on private. I don't want nobody to be able to reach out to you because men out there, like these celebrity level men will reach out to these girls that are from small towns and try to get at them. But as girls, like they just sit there and it's just like, oh my gosh, I get all this attention. So they get this inflated sense of self and uh, inflated sense of ego. And then when they hit, when they hit the wall, they're like, where are all the good men at? I remember back in my day where men would be hitting me up, but men ain't hitting me up no more. What's going on? It's like, well... You've hit the wall and the wall's unforgiving. And it is what it is. That's just that's just the lay of the land. And that's why us men, we don't feel bad for these women because we we understand what they're going through from the post wall of 35 and up because we've been going through it pretty much our entire lives. That's why we have no sympathy for them. You had your chance and you blew it. You had your time and you blew it. You had some pink and you... Okay, you, you, let me stop there. But you know what I'm saying? There was You had a chance. Us, as us men... We don't get that chance until we're much older. And then we take advantage of that. And then y'all get... And here's here's the funny thing. The video we, we uh, posted the other day. Younger women are like, I want an older guy. I want him to have experience. I want this and that. But then we get demonized for wanting younger women. Huh? Stupid. What are you talking about? You said you like older guys. And you're a younger chick. Like, what are you even talking about? 
Like, it makes no sense. It absolutely makes no sense. But I've always said this, accountability is the plague to these modern women. It is what it is. Probably nothing's going to change. So the best thing I can do is go out there and teach men what they should do, what they should look out for, and just give you guys some life lessons so when you're going through the dating market, you got the the best chance possible to actually meet a woman of value if you want to, building a meaningful relationship, you know, be married or have kids or whatever you want, because I'm very pro-marriage, and you guys know that. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I miss you guys, man. I was traveling. Um, so I had those videos going live, but, um, I really did miss you guys. It's good to be back. I had a lot of fun today. Hope you guys did too. Um, but yeah, man, I'll see you guys tomorrow, man. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Peace.